guys, Stacey back with another video. And today's video, this isn't my normal declutter format. However, I filmed this declutter once and for some reason the file got corrupted and so now we're refilming. So I figured I would do this a different style. Like I said, I already filmed it. Well, you know what? Hello. My name is Cece, for those of you who don't know. We talk about productivity in our corporate careers on this channel. We are also in the middle of a low buy year for 2024, and all that includes decluttering our lives and our spaces. So we got a lot of stuff, y'all can see, we got a lot of stuff here in this, um, in this room, in this house, everything. So I'm in the middle of decluttering my entire life. I have already decluttered my foundations, my concealers. Now we are on powders, and like I said, I already kind of know what I'm getting getting rid of because I filmed this once. So I'm just gonna go over this in a pretty different format for you guys. So we're still gonna do the same thing though. Leave a comment down below and let me know how many powders you think I have right now before I get rid of these. Let me know, I'll wait. powders is what we started with um and we're getting rid of a good amount so I'm really excited so I'm just gonna go through I'm gonna start with the powders that I'm getting rid of and then we'll go through and look at the powders that I'm keeping okay so here they are in this kind of let's turn this video this whole video is gonna be a hot mess y'all <laughs> but here they are in this like little lazy Susan right here is that good yeah so they're here in this little lazy Susan so I'm just gonna pull them out I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm getting rid of and kind of what my thought process was and we'll go from there so the first one I have here I actually have a few from Too Faced and I'm getting rid of is it just two yeah it's two so I'm getting rid of a loose powder and also a pressed powder so this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use complexion powder I'm in the shade warm sand I actually really do love this powder this is a really great powder especially if you have oily skin I recommend this powder I am getting rid of it simply because I just have too many I mean it got to the point during that video where I at the end just had to really make some tough decisions and say how many foundation pressed foundation powders do you need right same with the loose powder how many loose foundation or how many loose powders do you need like do you need to keep loose skin tone powders and I haven't used this powder in so long and that tells me that there are just others that I either love more or that I'm just on to more like I just I just gravitate toward them more so this one is in translucent medium. This is the ethereal setting powder. I actually never got into the skin toned ethereal. I loved the um, translucent for under the eyes, but I don't think I ever really got into the skin tone. I used it a few times. I liked it, but it was just never something that I grabbed for all the time. Um, I also have the NYX HD finishing powder this one is in the shade banana so I actually didn't purchase this that long ago I think I purchased this in 2023 and there's nothing wrong with it again just something that I don't gravitate toward to that much plus I also have my pressed Huda Beauty powders um the under eye powders and I just love those and so if I'm gonna reach for one it's probably gonna be those the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. I actually really love this powder. This is such a great powder if you're looking for a drugstore option. I have mine in the shade Caramel. Look, again, I had to make some tough decisions, so this one had to go. But if you're looking for a good drugstore matte powder, this is actually really great to set your makeup. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. This is one of my favorite powders, as you can tell there. I um, went ahead and got rid of this. This one is actually pretty old. I used it mostly up. So I did go ahead and repurchase a mini, which you guys will see in a minute. You probably already saw it in my last vlog. Um, I repurchased a mini version of this, but this is such a good powder. Just leaves you looking filtered, airbrushed. This is my, this is my baby. Um, the Laura Mercier, this is the translucent loose powder in translucent medium. I don't know why I never took this back. This is way too dark for my skin tone. There is not a world that I can use this and it looks good. So that I should have taken it back uh, when I got it, but for some reason I didn't. Um, Fashion Fair. 
This is the Iconic Pressed Powder in Enchanting Amber. I wanted to keep this so bad. I think Fashion Fair is back black owned as well because for a minute there, I don't think it was, but it's back black owned, um, which is great. So please support black owned brands. Um, I just never reached for this. It was a good shade. It, it, it was a good powder. This just never seemed to find its way to like my everyday makeup drawer. And I, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't quite have an answer for that, but I'm not gonna keep something just to keep it. Actually, some of these powders, I am gonna keep like three of them and I'm gonna put them, my daughters have like their own makeup drawer in here, just stuff that I'm not using anymore when they wanna come in here and play around with makeup. So um, I'm actually gonna put a few of these in their drawer. Um, next is the Wet n Wild. 5-in-1 Essence Primer and Finishing Powder. This was supposed to do a lot. This was supposed to smooth condition, refine pores, balance, and you can use it pre and post makeup. I just never quite found the greatest use for this guy. And I don't know, you guys tell me if you've bought this and tried it, but I never found the greatest use for it. So I just found myself never reaching for it. Um, this is another one of my favorites. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I'm in the shade tan. I actually have a brand new one of these. This one, the dome is gone. It's broken. This has been my baby and in my collection for a very long time. I love this powder so, so much. I already have, already have a backup and she goes nowhere. Um, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder. I am just, I'm not a huge skin toned loose powder girl. Loose powders get everywhere. They're so messy and it's just not really something I like to keep a lot of in my collection. So, um, we made some decisions and she had to go. So that same explanation goes for this Pat McGrath um, powder. This is another just a skin toned loose powder. Love Pat McGrath. Love the products. This just gets everywhere. It's messy and I don't want to deal with it. Next up is this. This is um, a guy on Instagram. His like style channel is his handle and he's so funny on Instagram but he also has his own waterproof makeup products. So I wanted to try this. This just isn't a good shade for under my eyes. This is the loose powder in the shade number six. Um, I First of all his packaging is top tier. I love it so much but again this just isn't a great shade for my under eyes so we don't like that. Um, the Hard Candy Chilling Sheer Envy Loose Powder. I don't think I've ever opened this or used it and I've had it for so long. So if I've never opened it or used it, that means your girl does not need it and it needs to go to another home. Same with this Sephora Translucent Setting Powder because we never opened her. So why would we keep it in the collection? I'm not even going to open it and pretend like I'm going to use it because I'm not. Um, the Kosas Pillowy Cloud Set Powder. Um, she cute and all. I just never picked her up. I don't know why. It's a little light skin too. Just, just a little bit. It's a little light skin. Um, I don't know why I never picked her up, but I didn't. And there's no sense in just holding on to her. All right, let's talk through the Morphe Bake and Set Setting Powder and Brightening pink this um i have y'all know i got the pink powder bug but i had the huda pink powder i had the one size pink powder and just how many pink powders do you need i feel like when i tried this also this just was not as flattering under the eyes not the color but the actual powder so this is a no for me the Revolution Super Matte Powder. This is another one that I barely picked up. I think I might have used it once or twice and I just, it wasn't memorable enough for me to even give you a review on it. So if that's the case, I have others that I love that I'll stick with. Um. Oh, here's one. This is the Patrick Ta for face. Um, cream foundation and setting powder so I don't know which video to put this in whether the foundation or the setting powder but I hardly use um, either and I don't know this this was an innovative product I guess if you're trying to travel or whatever and I use the found actually did use the foundation quite a bit but the powder um, it's just like it's light skin so this is more like an under eye setting powder but it was a little 
too chalky like when I tried it recently it was just a little too chalky for me under the eyes I don't know if my preferences are changing my skin is changing or what it is but I remember really enjoying this and now I just I don't want to wear it so there is that um this is the sephora collection clear skin days mattifying booster powder i think you were supposed to mix this in like with your foundation or other powders and it's supposed to make it matte i never used that she glam insta ready face and under eye setting powder duo so this was actually pretty innovative again just never reached for it but there's a loose powder at the bottom this is from she glam too so from like Shein. um but there's a loose powder at the bottom and then there's a pressed powder for your under eye at the top very innovative great for travel if you're looking for like a two-in-one product like that but this just didn't i don't know i just i never used it the essence 16 hour and last 16 hour cover and last powder foundation i actually really love essence products and i think they do a really great job this is actually a really nice powder foundation and if you're looking for something affordable this would be great like go to ulta run and get this i'm in the shade 12 brown sugar this is actually one of the ones that i'm going to keep and give to my daughter so they can play in the makeup but um yeah i'm i'm not going to use it okay let's talk through these last three this one kind of hurts my feelings a little bit this is the christian dior dior forever cushion powder in the shade deep now i liked the powder a lot but and the packaging like is this not luxury at its finest like look at that packaging it's like a pillowy it's just so pretty however this powder is so messy and it just you don't get enough out because it has like the whole cushion thing and i've never really loved the whole cushion thing i just feel like i don't get enough product on my brush or sponge or whatever it is i'm using and it just yeah i don't know she's very cute she's very glam but i just wish this was a, just a regular pressed powder like i don't want a loose powder the NARS, this is the light reflecting setting powder in the shade Shore. Um, I feel like I never got good product. Like when I would put my brush in this, I just feel like I never got enough product on my brush. It felt like it was a film or something over the the product and i don't know if i just got a bad one or what, but once that happened, like the first couple times, I just really stopped using that. And then lastly um, is the Pretty Fresh Pressed Powder from ColourPop. This is just so large and I just, if it's not, I don't know. I want it to be, my stuff to be smaller. I want it to be convenient. I want it to be easily put away in a good shape so I can like put other things in my drawer. And this is just so large. I don't want to travel with it. I hardly use it. No. Okay, so all in all, you guys, we are getting rid of 24 powders 24 so once again we've decluttered about just about half of our collection which is pretty awesome right so all of these have got to go all right now you guys are going to get a little sneak peek of all the powders that i decided to keep so if we open this drawer i just have a few in here and you guys these are some of my favorites these are kind of in my like shop my stash for this month so I have the one size foundation powder the Laura Mercier what is this called the matte radiance baked powder in bronze three this has been a, one of my favorites lately I told you guys I bought another one of the Charlotte hey y'all look at me <laughs> I told you guys I bought another one of the little Charlotte Tilbury um the flawless what do you call this flawless filter powder or whatever it's called but i just got a little one in the same shade tan and i felt like a little one was necessary um the easy bake and snatch pressed powder by huda beauty huda beauty makes some of the best setting powders in the game so if you're looking for a good powder for under the eyes try huda if you have not this one's in the shade blondie which is one of my favorite shades i also have this in a loose powder form but then I have the loose powder in her new shade, Peach Pie. I actually just recently um, purchased this one. And then I have it also in Cherry Blossom, the iconic Cherry Blossom cake that everyone's always looking for. I definitely want to try to 
uh, mix these and see what they look like under the eyes because I think they're going to be beautiful mixed together um here i just have the one size ultra pink powder in here i threw away the canister the container is so large and um from what i had left i was able to fit in this little jar these jars i bought from amazon i'll link them below if you're looking to move your makeup into something else but i love this one size powder it is amazing and then i have this color pop powder and this is a mix of the banana and the translucent and it looks so beautiful underneath the eyes so i just have a little bit of that left okay let's talk through these other powders this is just my powder my powder drawer I have all of my powders in here besides the ones that you just saw and these are again the rest of my keepers so I have th these hidden here this is just a rare beauty um, like blotting powder and blotting sheets that we have here so I keep that in there and then I also have this hourglass guy this is the ambient lighting palette with dim light incandescent light and radiant light and I love mixing these three together on my face they're oh they're just so gorgeous together so we have those I have a rare beauty this is a loose skin tone powder like I said I had to make some decisions and so I was keeping the rare beauty and that is my only loose skin toned powder I think that I kept um I have of course the iconic Laura Mercier translucent the Huda Beauty loose powder in blondie like I told you guys this is a newer powder for me I've got it like six months ago and it's actually really beautiful this is the melt um, glazed skin powder I got mine in the shade tan and it just looks so good on the skin you look like you have a filter on seriously so gorgeous um, we have another one size this is the regular translucent powder the Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder here makeup forever this is the HD matte velvet skin I love her um, the elf halo glow setting powder this is so beautiful you guys elf makes really good products Chanel of course we have our Chanel um, natural finish loose powder another one size this is the sweet honey powder by one size this is probably my favorite powder ever um this is a Givenchy prism libre powder and it has like the four shades and they're really beautiful and then I just have these last few over here so we have a powder by Sephora this is their new matte powder foundation so pretty um, I have two of these Pat McGrath little mini um, under eye pressed powders so these are I think in yellow and then in a medium shade kind of like a translucent for under the eyes the makeup forever no I'm sorry urban decay all nighter powder this is so good to keep you matte all day I love that I have this ruby kisses matte powder foundation which is really nice the Sephora micro smooth powder And then the last two I have the Fenty Pro Filter Pro Filter yeah Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation I'm in the shade 370 and the Dior this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder and I'm in 3N and that is that so you guys that is it those are all of the powders that I am keeping that is my entire powder foundation I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this format if you like this format let me know um, I might go back and forth with the rest of the products that I have to go for this declutter so hopefully you guys enjoyed this thank you thank you thank you so much for your love and support I hope you're getting something from this declutters just getting those motivation or that motivation to just go ahead and declutter your own own life okay give this video a thumbs up if you love it I love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll talk to you in the next video bye